Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and we are back in Kingdom Come. I went ahead and started with a new character, because today we are going to do the quest to get alchemy, and also, um, well, there may be other quests that we'll go ahead and take on as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and start gathering materials that we need. I'll show you all the plants that I've found at least. Uh, in the game while I was traveling um, between different areas. This is nettle, of course. That's what it says. Um, I'm going to probably get about five to ten of these. And then we'll move on to the next plant. I think dandelion is probably the next one that you can get a lot of. I mean, it's everywhere. If you cannot find dandelion, then I, I don't know. <laughs> it's, you're not looking in the right places. So... The one thing I know that we cannot find, or at least I haven't found yet, is Lover's Knot. And I think you can buy that from the merchant here. And I'm just trying to get everything. I want to get all the harvestables um, or all of the alchemy stuff right away. This way we can just, once we get there, maybe we can create more than one kind of potion. And that's, that's the plan. So I don't see anything that would... Um, that would grow right here. Here's dandelion over here. I'll just go ahead and grab some of it. Don't need very many. Probably three or four. And again, if you, if you don't have enough, most likely wherever it is that we're going to do the alchemy is going to have some around it. Or at least, um, yeah, around it. It doesn't have to be right outside the door or whatever it is uh, that we're going to. But I'm sure you'll find some. The other things are the, uh, oh, what is it called? The mushrooms, the different mushrooms in the game. I know where they are. I just don't know if I can get to them without um, having to kill a few people. <laughs> uh yeah so let's go ahead and here's lovers not we'll go ahead and get about 10 of those we start out with 40 um uh, how many of the uh that's 0.1 per so that's gonna be what one yeah let's go ahead and get that that's all we need from him and so around this area in um the the way the plants grow at least as far as i've seen uh, mostly along fences, you'll see, uh, the nettle, uh, like you can see there. If you see wood piles like this, you may see something called, uh, wormwood, I think it's called. But we'll, we'll see that as well. Uh, where, I thought there were steps that led down this way. Yeah, there it is. You can't pick up the lilies that are in the water. So I don't know of any water-based uh, alchemy items. These red plants, you cannot harvest, but there is another red plant that's called poppy, like um, the drug, <laughs> I guess. And that is harvested in large fields. This is wormwood. It's, you can tell because it's whitish. It's a whitish uh, green. And it has this long stalk with these small um, parts coming off of it. So we'll go ahead and get that. And I know this is probably going to be a very long video. I hope you uh, don't mind that. And I will try to put uh, points um, to where you can skip to just straight to the quest line or straight to the alchemy. But I think if you want to do harvesting of the materials, it's best to know what they look like. And while I don't know what everything looks like, I know <laughs> where um, a lot of the stuff can be found. And what is and what is not harvestable. There's also different kinds of... There's each, each one of these, by the way, gives a certain property. It'll either give to you or it'll take away something from you like i think nightshade takes your health where marigold gives you health and um i believe nettle and thistle combine uh, for something as well those i don't think those are i i bright are they oh 
I don't think that's eyebright. Is that? It's comfy. Yeah, comfy. I knew it was something that we could harvest. Uh, comfy. I've only found maybe a few here and there, so it's it's maybe not be it may not be something that you can get um, all over the place. But it looks like it's uh, abundant here. And as you get better at harvesting or herb uh, herbalism, you'll be able to collect more per harvest. So I may have of uh, I may get one or may get two. And I think the higher your skill goes, you may get three or may get five. I don't, I don't really know how that works yet because I haven't gotten very high in that skill. Let's see if we can oh, go over the fence. I just want to get a lot of this because I don't see it very often. And to be honest, I don't even know if it can be used yet. So might as well have um, a, good, a good source. Let's see. Um, comfy, we have five. I think that'll be fine. Actually, I want to try to have at least five of each. What was what else was four? Dandelion. Okay, so just dandelion. Again, not something I'm worried about too much. I don't think that's a plant. There's nettle, more nettle. Nettle's everywhere. If you can't find nettle, then... Um, I mean, just come to this town. There, It's all over. There's more wormwood. We don't need any more of that, I don't believe. I think we have more than enough wormwood. Wormwood is at the bottom. Yeah, we got six. This right here is marigold. You can tell by the really bright orange uh, plant. And, um, again, those red... Uh, those red plants are not harvestable, but whenever you whenever you see the poppy, you'll definitely know it because it's really small little uh, red buds on it. So we'll get a little bit more of this. <laughs> I know this is probably a very boring video because I'm trying to uh, show where all the harvestables are, but also get all the harvestables. Uh, so that we can do as much alchemy as possible while we're at the alchemy station. I think that was about five, right? Marigold was nine. Okay, <laughs> let's continue on then. Now, I think... I don't think there's going to be anything else along here that we need that I can remember but when we get to the town up here we will be able to get uh, there's more marigold we'll be able to get eyebright which is a if I remember correctly it's a white flower or two or three white flowers with a purple flower in the middle that's eyebright and then we should also find mint in this town. Uh, I haven't been to the... Oh, that's not poppy, I'm sorry. Uh, in the other town, we might also find mint. Okay. Just looking around. I think it's... It's going to be very hard to see while, while riding the horse. But I think it's right up here past this section. I'll go ahead and get off right here. I think I actually saw them. Uh, this is Thistle right here. I, I don't know about you, but in games like Skyrim, I am a harvest harvest uh, uh, aficionado I like her there's eye bright right there there's like I said white around purple thistle and you need to find uh, to harvest them you have to follow the stem down to the root so that's why you're uh, sometimes you may have if you're looking at it you're like what is it uh, you have to go down to the stem to actually loot these items and let's see What's my skill at now? For uh, herbalism, it's almost three now. Mm. Dandelion. 
Dandelion, dandelion. There we go. There's the thistle. Probably want to get a good amount of these. I have no clue how many I have at the moment. So the only problem with it is thistle, we have six. That's fine. Let's get about, well, a little bit of lag there. Let's get eye bright. What I was going to say was, I don't know about you in games like Skyrim, but I like to make sure I harvest every plant that I can find. And then uh, the only difference is here, you don't have the ability to eat the plant, but there is supposed to be some kind of guide later on, maybe in the alchemy section or alchemy quest that shows you what every plant does. Uh, I don't know, but that is something that would be really... Wow, that's taking big swaths of it. So I wonder if I've collected a, m a good amount. I write, Yeah, I've collected 10, and I don't think I harvested three times. So maybe if something is harvested... See, these can't be harvested. Uh, maybe if something can be harvested um, in groups like that, that it just gives you... The amount of uh, stems that it would have actually been if you harvest each individually. So in this town there's supposed to be a quest that I can pick up. I think I'm going to go ahead and bypass it because... Oh boy. <laughs> Just because I, I want to make sure that we get to the alchemy <laughs> as soon as possible. We may, uh, I know that there's supposed to be two quests in this area that we're going to. One for a uh, bailiff, if I uh, remember correctly, and one for the actually, actual uh, alchemy quest. So we'll probably do both of those. They may actually coincide with another, so might as well get them done. Again, uh, Poppy, I think... Poppy might be down here somewhere. That blue plant can't be harvested either. More, um, this lavender looks like something that you will be, oh, there it is. A well, lavender, um, looks like something that you would be able to harvest. But it's not, and this stuff is not harvestable either. But this is, this is Poppy. And the way you can tell is because instead of being a round flower, it's like a cup shape. Which I don't know if that's really, I mean, what I've seen of Poppy... Um, is that they start out at, as these big round bulbs and um, the people that use them for drugs would cut the um, cut slightly on the skin of the rounded bulb and that's where all the uh, poppy milk came from. I don't I've never seen a bloomed uh, poppy before so I don't even know if this is what it would look like see how many of those we have puppy we have 14 okay so apparently we're harvesting more than um than one per so that's good i think that's all we can get that's all that i know of at least there's more wormwood if we need it that white flower is not harvestable uh, at least yet and uh, that's pretty much all we can get from right here, right now. So they were talking about the, the other crafting that's going to be in the game. There's a thistle grove right there. Are going to be mining, which I would guess that uh, attains to blacksmithing. There's going to be... Um, oh, what else did they say? Uh, I kind of got lost on blacksmithing. <laughs> Is that bees? Can I harvest honey? Because honey, I think, is also something that you can use. Oh, I can open it. Okay, so apparently they haven't made honey yet. 
I wonder if you can keep coming back to these and they'll they'll grow the honey. That'd be very interesting. So I think this is the house, if I remember correctly. Yeah, here's uh, here's the star. This is actually how I knew to even come down here. Are these stars? Um, you'll see here and here. These stars indicate where quests will start. So let's go ahead and go over there. And it looks like it might be him. Um, he doesn't look very well. God be with you, Palmer. What happened? You don't look very well. What do you want here? Who let you in? Hey, aren't you that minion of Radzig's? In a manner of speaking. Sorry for barging in. Well, I don't usually talk to vagrants, but I have to lie in my bed for days and suffer like Lazarus. You want to know what happened to me? I was poisoned. That's what. God almighty, why? Why? Because that filthy harlot feeds people pig swill and gives them pig piss instead of beer. Who? Who? The innkeeper Mariana, that's who. I had some of her rotten beer and gruel, and now I'm afraid my guts will turn inside out. <laughs> Couldn't it be from something else? Did you eat anything anywhere else? Indeed, it could not. It tasted funny when I was eating it. And anyway, everyone knows what kind of witch she is. Who is this Mariana, anyway? Surely you must know her. She has a tavern on the green. She pulls nasty beer, cooks rotten meat, and what's more, she's a harlot who parades herself in front of men and does who knows what with them when decent folks are long gone to sleep. If she's as bad as all that, then someone should do something about her, shouldn't they? My words exactly. Do you think I didn't tell the bailiff? And what do you think he said? Have you lost your balls, Jerry? He's probably got something going with her. But while we're on the subject, my boy, how would you like to earn a little extra money? There's never money enough. Supposing you find out how that slut poisoned me and bring the evidence to the bailiff, I'd pay handsomely for it. Especially if you help me get rid of these diabolical runs. Hmm. All right. Let's ask more questions. A few more things for this investigation. Go ahead and ask. When exactly did it happen? Last Saturday evening. It spoiled the whole day for me Sunday, and now I'm lying here, and my work is piling up. Was there someone else there with you? Of course there was. Tomkin the fisherman was with me. You can ask him about it. What are the symptoms of this poison? You don't even want to know. If I swallow anything at all, it comes straight up again. And if it does stay in me, then I end up shitting blood. I have such a fever, my wife doesn't even have to light a fire. And terrible shakes as well. Horrible it is. I never felt so awful in my life. Any idea where I might find some remedy for you? There's an old herb woman living down in the woods by the creek. She might have something. Only, that old witch has no great love for me, so it would be best not to mention my name if you go and see her. All right. That will be all. I'll all right. take the case. I'll try and figure out who poisoned <laughs> you and get some medicine. Great. Let's give that whore what for. Oh, he rhymed. Um, <laughs> I'll get right on it then. Thanks, and hurry up with that medicine before my life goes out my ass. Uh, he is a very. Mm, <laughs> he's not a very nice person. That is definitely for sure. So I saw. Yeah, here's the. Um, the fisherman he was talking about. About the poison case. I just visited Jerry and he's really sick. Don't you know anything about it? Maybe he ate something that didn't agree with him. We go to tavern together sometimes. So both of you ate then? Well, I don't know if we both did on that particular evening. These evenings get blurred together the way they're all the same. Look here, don't bullshit me that you don't remember what happened two nights ago. Tell me or you'll regret it. Hmm. When I think about it, that night that Jerry fought with Mariana, I don't think I ate anything.
So how come you can't go to the inn? I used to go with Jerry, but he got such a nasty dose of the shits, he can't even walk. You say Jerry and Mariana had an argument? What happened? How should I know? Nothing trivial. I'm not their bloody nanny. You know... Now you're really starting to piss me off. Should I take you to the bailiff so the two of us can beat it out of you? Don't mess with me. Well, all right then. There was something between them. Jerry liked her. He said something to her and she went mad. I don't know any more about it. I didn't hear what they said to each other. Look here, fellow. My patience is running out. If you're trying to tell me a young girl was after some old fart with one foot in the grave, he told her to go to hell, and now they're keeping it secret. Try telling me that once more, and you'll see where it gets you. Don't take me for a fool. Shit, you're a smart one. Yeah, you're right. Jerry wanted it. Wanted what? The shagger, of course. Are you surprised? You've seen what Jerry looks like. If you weren't so cocky, maybe you'd live to see the day when the laugh will be on you instead. And what then? What do you think? They had a row. And how was it with the food? What did you eat? What do I know? Jerry had some meat. That's odd now. Jerry told me something different. Me and my big mouth. Ha ha! I don't know why I'm laughing like that, but... Yeah, so... I ended up going with a specific build this time that would allow Force to overcome um, the ignorance of individuals like that. Um, Over here, sweetheart. Oh. Scared. <laughs> let's speak with Mariana, and then we may have to take care of him uh, as well. Welcome to my shop. I heard that you had trouble I with heard Jerry. Mama Jerry is giving you some trouble. Trouble? That scumbag. Stop gaping, first yokels, or I'll give you what as for. As if I'm some two-bit whore. And when I kicked him out, he made up a story that I poisoned him. Isn't it possible, by any chance, that he got it from some food you gave him? It could. Happen. We'll kick those fucking bandits' arses yet. Cook something by mistake. Excuse me. Do you think I don't know how to cook or I give people rotten food? You're an ass the like of which the world has never seen. All right. Quiet. So the cross talk that's happening? Let them hear. You we'll kick those fucking bandits See that? Yet. See how it's cross talk even whenever what it's happening is the guy who is in the red hat is talking and then it sounds like someone else is yelling at uh, someone else behind you. Well, I think Stop that gaping yokels, or I'll give you what for. I think that's absolutely that yeah. That is Damn. so annoying, especially when you're talking to somebody. So, um, what did he eat then? What did Jerry eat here anyway? He had nothing the last time he was here. After he slapped me on the backside again and started with his lines, I threw the gruel in his face. He had meat. Fisherman said Jerry had meat. Ha! One better than the other. They can't even lie properly, the fools. Mm. Jerry said he had beer and gruel. Well, he's bullshitting. So how actually was it between you and Jerry? How? No how. The old fool probably doesn't fancy what he does at home, and I don't blame him. He slapped me on the ass and made indecent proposals, strutting around like a peacock. But I doubt any woman is so desperate that she'd start anything with a tight-fisted, mangy old dog like that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't trust her. I, I don't trust anyone so far, but... I have a feeling from what you say that Jerry is lying through his teeth. I don't like that at all. I think I'll have a closer look at this Jerry. Well, if you manage to get that pig convicted of slander, you'll have free beer here, and maybe even a grocer or two. Maybe even something more. What can I hope to do alone against the word of a rich farmer? Mm-hmm. 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 All right. This guy, we need to talk. Having fun? I would not. What do you want? Would you stop shouting? You're disturbing the guests here. 
You got a problem, young fella? I have. I do. You act like a pig and nobody here is amused. Enough. I'll whip you like a dog. Just do it. God, he's back again. Do it. I'll send you straight to hell. You're an ass the like of which the world has you. never seen. Quiet. Bastard. Our neighbors will hear you. Let them hear. You ought to be ashamed of ah! them. <laughs> I give up. You win. I'll leave her alone. I should hope so. And you better apologize to her. All right, all right, I'm going. And next time be sure and leave her a generous tip. All right. That's what I'm talking about. And that's how you take care of those situations. All right. Let's talk with this guy. He is also making noises. Is there anything interesting going on here? Farmer Jerry doesn't feel well. He probably ate something that was off, and now he spends most of his time in the outhouse. Nothing serious. He ate something that was off, and now he's got the notion the innkeeper poisoned him. Really, I behave like. like a pig. Who is this well, Jerry, and what happened to him right, anyway? Like oh, I don't know. Jerry's a farmer who lives across the creek beyond the village green. He's got a dose of the runs, and he claims it's because the innkeeper poisoned him. I reckon, though, he drank sour milk or some such. But what's it got to do with me, anyway? Suppose I look into it and try to figure it out? And how do you propose to do that? But why am I even asking? Do what you can, lad. If you pull it off, it'll be a thorn out of my side, and I'm not stingy like that Jerry. So you won't regret it. All right. Anything else going on? Oh, a bailiff's lot is not a happy one, you know. Everybody's problems come down on my head. And my problems? On my head, too. I have this issue of my own, you see. Can I help you? Now I think of it, actually you can. But it's a private matter. You have to promise to keep it to yourself. Okay. Certainly. I'll be as quiet as a grave. What's up? Well, I had a little drink with our merchant. I'm no drunk. Let's get that clear. But naturally, one has an obligation to toast a successful deal. Naturally. And this morning, I woke up on the porch and, uh... <clears throat> and somehow, my keys were missing. So you want me to go looking for your keys? The main thing is, I have to get into my house and my trunk. I have a few questions. Ask. Where did you have your keys? On a chain around my neck. I carry them everywhere with me. They're a sort of mark of office, you see. What's the last thing you remember? The last thing? Huh. I recollect sitting with the merchants in the tavern and uh, celebrating that deal. And then? And then it's a bit fuzzy. I woke up soaked to the skin at home on the porch where my wife dragged me. She wasn't too happy, I suppose. You bet. And when she found out I didn't have my keys, she gave me hellfire. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I have no more questions. Come on, it. Get to work on it. All right. So, um, I think this is the shopkeeper here. And he said to speak with him. So we'll we'll talk. What's going on? I got my sword out. Okay, he's available now. Oh, he's available now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and shop first, and then we'll uh, purchase stuff. Or, oh, we don't need that. We do need that, though. Let's go ahead and get all of it. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of money for for all of that. For all that there. Let's get some food. Oh, we can get all kinds of stuff here. 
All right, I'm not really worried about it. Let's go ahead and just get this. Talk with them again. Welcome to my shop. And I heard you and the bailiff were making merry. I have. My head is still aching. What's it to you? Well, I'm just curious about what goes on here. Yeah, that was quite a spree. We just struck a deal and you we went to have a drink on it according to custom. And, well, things got a little wild. And what happened then? Aren't you a bit nosy? I don't think the bailiff would be too happy about me telling everyone I meet. All right. Well, it worked. I don't think the would be too happy if he knew you were holding me up. Sorry, but I'm not about to tell a stranger oh. what matters, threats or no threats. The bailiff himself gave me the task of finding a certain thing he lost that night. So, so he trusts me, and you should trust me too. Look here. That's not Don't really good. <laughs> good way to say that. Uh, Come on now. What could happen that was so terrible? Once, I rode drunk around the courtyard on a pig, crashed into the sty and demolished it. And hey, the local farmer emerged out of the straw with some wench. We all had a good laugh, and the story is told to this day. Sure. You probably rode what? on that pig too, eh? I'm not telling you anything. I'm not some old crone to be gossiping like that. I don't know how well you know the locals, but it might be best if you told me firsthand. How do you mean? You know how it is. Someone probably saw you, he tells someone else, and it snowballs. Last I heard, the two of you were running naked around the green. Nice try. But if the I don't know how to... Back, I'd have heard something for sure. Okay. I don't need to know anything else. I guess there is no way to continue that conversation. Let's go ahead and see if the blacksmith is here. We'll see if we can get... I guess some uh, lockpicks. Do you make locks and keys here? I used to, but people need tools, horseshoes and nails more. Why do you ask? I need to open a certain lock and I don't have the key. Yes, that's the trouble with locks. You need a key to open them. So tough luck. Hop it quick before I tell the bailiff there's some tramp hanging around here who wants to rob decent people. No, no. That's not how it is at all. I'm not a thief. <laughs> that no. always works. <laughs> uh, let's bribe him. If you help me out, I'll make it worth your while. I think we're starting to understand each other. Ten groschen, and I'll help you. Here you go. Excellent. If you want to deal with a lock, you'll need a lockpick. By chance, I still have a few here. You can buy them from me if you want. Do you want me to show you how to use them? No, nah, I'll learn. Another time, but thanks for the offer. Shop. I'd like to buy something from you. That's what I'm here for. Alright, I have 15 groschen left. I need coal. I'm pretty sure it's part of the... How much is that going to cost me? That's 0.5. I'll take the, all of it. That's one. Uh, well, <laughs> I think I'm only going to take one lockpick. So let's go ahead and get that. Alright. Well, it's getting night time. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just start heading to wherever the alchemist is. Let's check the map. Okay. So the alchemist is here. Here in the woods, I'm guessing. Because we've been here. I don't know what that is. That must be the bailiff. That must be the bailiff's wife. Or house. Oh, no, no. I know what this is. This is the door. This is the um, the actual trunk he wants open. And this is must be the bailiff. So... Yeah, I think this is where we need to go. Alright, so... Oh boy, we need to hurry. It got dark really fast. Couldn't tell if those were three bandits or not. Oh, 
Whoa, it's whoa, it's really dark in here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and and walk it. Okay, there she is. So, I know I'm putting it away. I'm putting it away. I'm putting it away. I'm putting. Uh, oh, where are you at? Where? Are you? Okay, there you are. It's, it's so dark. Welcome to my shop. You sell herbs. Yes, medicinal herbs, potions, everything wise Mother Nature has given us. Did you see two revelers from Summerpesh here recently? I did not, Mad. All right. Hang on. Just because I didn't see them doesn't mean I didn't hear them. They were shouting and cursing here in the middle of the night. They called me an old hag, a, a whore of Satan, and even worse. So you didn't see where they went? When I pulled myself together and came out, they were already gone. Did you talk to them? Talk? Not exactly. More like I swore at them. Hmm. I don't need to know anything more. I need something for the rums. For the shits, you mean? That's what where that is. For yourself? What's it to you, old crone? I'm paying you, so hand over what you've got. And don't stick your nose in where it doesn't belong. As you will, sir. You don't say. And what are the symptoms of the disease? What do you suppose they would be? Shitting bucket loads, of course. That's clear to me, son. But I need to know what color it is, how often, if it's accompanied by a fever, all kinds of things. Only then can I concoct something for you. He said anything he eats comes straight up again, and when it doesn't, then he shits blood. He has a fever and shakes. I didn't ask him about the color. Maybe red? Uh, I don't envy him that. That's from rotten meat. Meat? But he said he had gruel and beer. Out of the question. The product runs from beer. And if it was from gruel, it would be green. But when there's blood, then it's meat. Well, that's quite a turn up. That changes everything. And who would lie to you about what they ate when they need help? You can't have much sense. That's none of your business. Hold your horses, son. <laughs> well, what do I care? What am I to do? It'll cost you three groschen. What? I could buy an axe for that. You might, but it wouldn't be much use. Under the circumstances, it's not very much. Well then, but this would be enough to fetch a doctor from Prague. Indeed. We'll make a potion for him. Clean him out and purge the rot from his body. We'll need thistle, nettles, and charcoal. Five of each. Charcoal? Like regular charcoal? What other kind is there? We'll grind it up and sprinkle it in. Few bits are enough. Bring lots of nettles. One thistle will do, but bring me at least five to make up for all the work I have for this. All right, I'll get right on it. Well then, did you find everything we need? I've got everything. Then come and get stuck in. All right, since you paid, would you like to learn how to make the potion? Why not? Very good. Step up to the fire then. I'll tell you what to do. You'll learn something and I won't feel so used. All right, so one thing I need to say, and hopefully um, the designers are watching this, because um, I think that there needs to be, if you have a torch drawn whenever you go to talk to someone, that, weapon away or I'll call a guard. Oh, that the torch actually stays um, active while you're talking with them. Because, I mean, that's going to be a lot of talking at night 
where you're going to um, end up having problems. But anyway, let's go ahead and put the torch away now that we're inside. This is the alchemy lab. This should be very interesting. There's honeycomb there. Oh, they, she must have been working on a recipe. Uh, let's go ahead and press uh, E. So we are now in here. Looks like water, wine, oil, and liquor. Okay, the honeycomb and all those are gone now. So let's go ahead and read this. So, um, so whoever suffers from fever and headache should put this, uh, put on his head at night a bandage dipped in dipped in it so in that uh, specific ingredient it also shows at the bottom the triangles uh, define what kind of liquid to make the item in and I'm guessing if you were to find two um, two items that work together that use the same symbols that you would be able to make a potion out of it it would just depend on the recipe so let's press Y to toggle and here is the antidote that we need to create. Let's see how many potions you can make. So you can make archer's potion. You can make a heal potion. Poison. Um, and that looks like uh, whoever can uh, cannot lull themselves or need to make uh, wounded life stock sleep so this is a sleep potion okay so one two three so it looks like five potions you can make as of right now I wonder if you're able to practice to be able to make um, new potions and it'll add it to the book either way we'll go ahead and press enter to prepare and it'll add all those items let's go ahead and read the book again and see what it says it says drop Okay, so first off, it's saying we need water, one coal, one nettle, and two thistle. Drop the thistle in the cauldron and boil for two turns. Then add nettle and boil for one turn. Leave to cool, and then finally add charcoal, but do not boil. So, that means two uh, handfuls of thistle is the first thing that we need to worry about so let's go ahead and press escape and we are going to go ahead and get water it's kind of pouring weird but that's okay I'm sure they're gonna get that fixed and then um, thistle we need one handful there we go and then we need another handful and there we go now we're going to use Q to um, heat the cauldron so we'll just keep pulling it until it starts to boil and once it's at a good boil which I think it's at right now we'll go ahead and do our first turn oh, oh my goodness okay we don't want to use that so we're going to put that right there we're going to go ahead and do one turn. Oh boy, <laughs> this has been boiling for more than one turn already, I think. And just keep stoking the fire. Then we're going to go ahead and do one more turn. Stoke the fire again. We want to make sure it's boiling the whole time. One more stoke. And then we're going to get one handful of nettle. Oh boy, E. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't know what to do. Mm. Let's see if we can put that there and if we can now get our nettle. Cannot get the nettle. That is, um, that's bad. I don't know. Okay, let's see. R to reset. Are you, yes, we have to reset. There's no way to do it without it. Okay, so we need to go ahead and go back in here. We need to press enter to prepare. That was my bad. All right, so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go ahead and prepare the thistle. I'm going to put two handfuls in here. All 
right, we're going to go ahead and put our water in there. Then we're going to go ahead and put our thistle into there. And before we start stoking that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my nettle and put it in the tray down here. And then we're going to go ahead and start stoking this. I think this is the best way to do it. That way we know we have everything uh, the way we want it. Fire is going. First turn. Keep stoking it. Okay, one more turn. Stoke it again. One more time. Grab the nettle. Put it in the pot. Turn this. And stoke it. And now we're going to just let this cool. There we go. So while we're doing that, let's see if we can do any other recipes. This is two eyebright. Is that three eyebright or two? Two eyebright. Uh, you will need liquor, two fists of eyebright, one St. John's. I believe I have that. Let's go ahead and press escape. And now we're going to go ahead and add the coal. It's cooled down. And we are going to go ahead and grab the potion vial. Yes. And let's see if we made it. We did. Okay, so we did make it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this one queued up. I want to make it... Uh, Archer's Potion increases agility and stamina, temporarily, temporarily firms the arm during archery, so your hand won't shake all over the place. So let's go ahead and cue that up. We need liquor, then we need to drop uh, the eyebright into the cauldron and boil for two turns. Let the cauldron with the eyebright cool, grind the St. John's wort. Drop the St. John's wort in the cauldron, but do not boil. Warm it for one turn. Okay, that sounds a little bit more complicated, but I think I got it. So two turns, let it cool. Two turns, let it cool. Grind up the St. John's wort. Okay, we got this. Okay. Oh, we need to. Oh, we need to put it there. We need to actually put everything available. So let's go ahead and look at this. Okay, I write two fistfuls. I want to do it the same way I did it last time. Put one. Then we're going to go ahead and put two. I'm going to put liquor, which is the very last one, I think. Yep. And if you ever have any questions, just look at the symbol. All right. Boil for two turns. Before we start boiling, again, we're going to go ahead and get our St. John's wort. Put that in here. Put that in there. Then we're going to go ahead and start boiling. Stoke it with Q. Until it boils good flame under it and we'll go ahead and start first turn one more and then we'll go ahead and turn it I don't think we'll have to well we'll stuck it one more time and then now we'll go ahead and start preparing our St. John's work Okay, so I don't, I'm not actually controlling that, that's, that's good, <laughs> that's good, I'll have to, I'll have to control that, um, okay, 
and then we'll just wait oh can we put it here oh yeah we can put it there okay that's ground we're good to go once this cools down we're going to put it in and we're going to let this cook for uh, about one turn I think it said there we go and we're just going to keep the fire warm we're not going to stoke it constantly like we did last time we just want it to be warm okay and that is one turn let's go ahead and put this in here and let's hope we got it <laughs> and we got it okay <laughs> so that was that was that i'm gonna go ahead and um and exit i think yeah so we have made potions we could probably make the marigold potion but i kind of want to get some sleep and um i will be right back in the morning i know this is a very long video but i definitely want to complete these quests and uh and i'll see you in just a moment <laughs> yep mm. all right let's talk to him Well then, what's new? Have you got the potion for me? Have you got anything on Mariana? I wanted to ask you about a couple of things. What did you say you had to eat last time at Mariana's? Gruel I had. Why do you ask? It's just that the fisherman who was there with you said you had meat. So what? Meat or gruel? What difference does it make? So he made a mistake. The two of us were drunk as lords. So you had gruel? Yeah, I had gruel. Why do you keep going on about it? It's just the herb woman said that you could only get bloody runs from meat. The mangy old hag. So she's out to get revenge on me, too. What are you getting at, anyway? I have the potion. I even made it myself. Yourself? Why? Did the old crone not want to do it? She wanted to teach me. There's nothing to fear. Very well. Give it here. But woe betide you if I get the shits even worse. Here's a bonus for your trouble. Bye for now. All right, I gotta talk to Mary, and then I will finalize my decision as to if she's guilty or not. I think she might have something to do with it. I don't know. If he ate meat, two people said that it would be meat. If she doesn't concur with that, then um, we know that Jerry... Where in the world? Okay, there she is. That Jerry had um, meat somewhere else. Welcome to my shop. Yes. Dro oh, there was a bit of a celebration what? Not long ago. The local merchants and the bailiff. Didn't they lose something? The only thing yes. Okay, I don't want to... Okay, what about... I can't... I can't continue the dialogue about... Oh my goodness, okay. Meat. Let's get four of them, I guess. I'll go ahead and just buy it. <laughs> I got more money from um, completing those quests. So let's go ahead and... Oh, that antidote is going down as well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I need more, but I'm going to go ahead and eat that and does it show that i have oh it does show that i have a potion on it shows the timer for it as well that's pretty cool i don't have a bow or anything but at least <laughs> you know well i don't know what what to do about that guy i want to say that she is not guilty and i'm gonna say that he is the one who has um concocted this whole story about it being her uh, it's the only reason or reasonable answer that i can think of so let's go ahead and talk with them about your trouble well, then, what's new have you got the potion for me have you got anything on mariana i gave you the potion mary is clean fortunately i didn't get anything on mariana i don't think it was her that did it what are you pulling my leg 
I'm not paying you to think, I'm paying you to prove she did it! God almighty, are you really such a fool? Hang on, so you weren't interested in finding out who really did it? You must have been dropped on your head as a baby. You don't have to lose your temper, farmer. I just misunderstood you. So if I get you right, Mariana did it, and you just want proof? Any kind of proof? You're quite a genius, aren't you? So you finally got the idea. So now you confessed right out, you scoundrel. You won't get away with it. What? Do you think you can turn me in, you bastard? Just try it. You'll be sorry. Don't you know who I am? Ha! <laughs> I know exactly who you are. And you're lucky I'm not killing you myself. <laughs> this stupid guy, I'm telling you. It's, it makes you angry just talking to him. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to the bailiff. Let him know the situation. I know now what really Old happened ass. to Jerry being caught. I wouldn't mind giving him. Really? I never expected that. This what happened then? Dream. What did I do to deserve this? I don't know who it was, but it definitely wasn't Mariana. And Jerry is lying. Well, spit it out then. Jerry claimed it was Mariana who poisoned him, because the night before he took ill, he ate gruel at her place. Mariana said he ate nothing, because after he slapped her on the ass, she threw the gruel he ordered in his face. The fisherman that was with him at the tavern that evening was pretty mixed up, but in the end I got it out of him that Jerry ate meat, which doesn't fit with what Jerry said. The herb woman told me Jerry couldn't have bloody diarrhea from gruel, only from meat. So, to sum it up, Jerry definitely isn't telling the truth. It seems to me more like he wants to get revenge on Mariana, and I'm pretty sure why too. Well, you've done a decent job. I'd nearly take you for a catchpole, and I think you're right. He's a vain old peacock who wants to get revenge on a girl who rejected him. And who could blame her? Here's the money you were promised. Haha! -ha. <laughs> the potion lasts for a while, though. You can see I um, I'm now just a quarter before it's over, and um, yeah, that's kind of nice. Let's talk with her. Let her know about. I just heard you testified against yes. that pig for lying. Thank you. Now maybe people will stop whispering behind my back. I wonder how that nitwit managed to poison himself, though. Still, it's all the same in the end. From now on, you'll have free beer here. And here's something for your trouble. You're welcome. I'll stop by one evening after work. I'm sure you do, handsome. Oh. I'll look forward to it. Interesting. In dialogue. Nice. I thought I heard him coming up. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just buzz down the door. And then we're going to... Um, let him know. I, I honestly... Okay, so he's not calling her anything uh, bad. I think, uh, and I'm going to probably going to go back. But I, I think. My wits end with him. Oh my goodness! Fool. The crosstalk is so bad. Um, I think I'm going to also talk with the herb woman again because I'm pretty sure she saw them, and I'm pretty sure that she has the key because of just the way she acted about it. So I'm going to go back to her after I open this, but at least they'll be open just in case um, we don't get anything else out of the quest. I, without being able to um, talk with the merchant, I mean, I, I'm pretty much um, threatening him with his life if he if he doesn't um, tell me, and he's still not giving it to me. So anyway, here we go. Thank you for your money, and your seal is still in there. So, <laughs> that's all we got for that. Um, I mean, I need the money. You uh, you paid me, or you're going to pay me again, probably. But, 
Yeah, I didn't take your your document, whatever it was. All right. Um, about those lost keys, I unlocked the door and just. I managed to open the door and your trunk too. That's a weight off my shoulders. My wife was starting to go wild. Here's something for your efforts. Yay! That's nothing. And if you could look around for my keys, I'd be grateful. All right. Okay, y'all. I think we're gonna go ahead and end it here. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will talk to you next time. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.